Good morning and welcome to St. Matthew's on this Tuesday, the second day of February. In the secular world, today is Groundhog's Day, uh, but in uh, the world of the church, uh, this is a major feast day. It's the feast of the presentation of our Lord at the temple, which we'll learn more about during the service. Right, <clears throat> morning prayer, right one begins on page 42 of the prayer book. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We will continue with the Invitatory Psalm. This morning we will read together the Jubilate, found on page 45. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with the song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. We continue with the psalm appointed to for today. We'll read the first six verses of Psalm 84, which begins on page 707 of the prayer book. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. We continue with the gospel assigned for today. It comes to us from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, beginning at the 22nd verse. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of, of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, you are now dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for the glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be, be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At the moment she came and began to praise God and speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. 
When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The word of the Lord. We continue with Canticle 18, which begins on page 93, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. <clears throat> Today's feast is sometimes known as the purification of St. Mary the Virgin, sometimes as Candlemas. In the Eastern Church it has been called the meeting of Christ with Simeon. Such a variety of names is sufficient testimony to the wealth of spiritual meaning that generations of Christians have discovered in this small incident. The title, The Presentation, reminds us of the Jewish law coming from Exodus chapter 13, that every firstborn son had to be dedicated to God in memory of the Israelites' deliverance from Egypt, when the firstborn sons of the Egyptian died and those of Israel were spared. <coughs> Excuse me. When Mary placed her small son into the arms of Simeon, it was the meeting of the old and new dispensations. The old sacrifices, the burnt offerings and oblations, were done away. A new and perfect offering had come into the temple. God had provided himself a lamb for a burnt offering, his only son. The offering was to be made once for all on the cross. At every Eucharist, those who are in Christ recall that sinless offering and unite themselves with their souls and bodies, with the self-oblation of their Lord and Savior. We have a short explanation of the feast day, the presentation of our Lord. Our service continues as we together affirm our faith, reciting together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. We begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by Suffrages B. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. We continue with the colics, beginning with the colics for this day. Almighty and ever-living God, we humbly beseech thee that as thy only begotten Son was this day presented in the temple, so we may be presented unto thee with pure and clean hearts, by the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O 
God, the King eternal, who dividest the day from the night and turnest the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep thy law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done thy will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when the night cometh, rejoice to give thee thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of thy faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before thee for all members of thy holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and godly serve thee. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Take a moment to offer our own prayers and thanksgivings. We give thanks for this day. We give thanks for our church and school communities. We pray for all those whose lives are linked to ours. We offer our prayers for family and friends, for those who are facing any type of adversity or sickness, for those who are alone. We pray for strength and courage. We pray that they may know the joy of fellowship and love that comes from God and is a gift to each of us. We give thanks for the blessings that you've given us, for the joys and celebrations of life. We pray for our community and for our nation and the world. We take a moment to offer our own prayers and thanksgiving. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that reside deep in our hearts, we lift them up to you this day. We conclude our prayers by saying together the general thanksgiving, which begins on page 58. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord. To whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining Morning Prayer today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.